ride to London. <laughs> Finally getting around to doing it. Honestly, we're not that late. No, we've been later. Yeah, we've been a lot later than this. All right, so we're gonna keep this quick. Yeah. Uh, we went to London for Christmas. We had miles to burn. They were burning a hole in my pocket and Thomas had never been to London and I really wanted to do the food scene now that it's so much better than when we were when I was a kid. So we decided to check out all the Christmas lights, eat all the food, and travel to all the different boroughs. We, yeah, boroughs, sure. We hit every neighborhood. <laughs> Is that like a Harry Potter term? No, boroughs are like... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we hit every neighborhood, ate all the things, and I mean, the amount of steps we took was aggressive. So we're gonna take you through everywhere that we hit and what we did in each spot. Highlight. Let's jump through all the neighborhoods that we hit up. Let's start out with like Soho. Okay, we did some serious walking. We did Soho, which is just like generally beautiful. That's where all the Christmas lights were. All the Christmas lights and all the shopping. Yeah, like really all the major good shopping. Shops, yeah. We went to Covent Gardens, which was gorgeous. There's a lot of cool tiny markets. Yeah. I mean, here's the deal. If you're in London, you're going shopping. Like the shopping's incredible. Definitely. And then what about like Notting Hill? We went to Notting Hill. Which and that's was like beautiful. very postcard, picturesque, like. You know, Thomas had never seen Notting Hill. I've never Hill. seen the movie. You, you have yeah. now. I have now. Watch it on the plane on the way back. And what did you say? Carry on. We don't need to get into this. He didn't love it. Uh, um, what was the castle over there? We, the... went to, so from, we went from Notting Hill to Kensington Gardens. To or, Kensington Palace. Yeah, to Kensington. And then we went to Chelsea. And there's just all these tiny little neighborhoods that you can cut off the beaten path and explore. Yeah, we walked around the old, like, kind of historic part of London by Buckingham Palace and then all the banking districts. Saw a couple museums. We hit up Shoreditch, which is amazing street art. And they've got the really cool flower market. Yeah, it's like right next door. We saw Banksy there, which is pretty rad. Mm -hmm. I knew you'd be pumped about yeah, that. Yeah. Um, and then we went walked along River Thames. No. No, that's in Paris. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, fine. And then, <laughs> and then we went to Camden, um, which is really Camden Town. Camden Town. We we pulled the T Swift and went to Camden Town. That was a really cool like food stall place where we went and had that incredible burger and walked yes. around the river yes. to get up there. Yeah. Also worth a trip. You take a subway up there. Borough Market though. Oh, Borough That was where I was getting at by River Thames. Is we did Borough Market. I think it's River Thames. I like Thames. Okay. We did Borough Market mm -hmm. and Gabby's mind exploded there because she was just a bit overwhelmed. You seem a little lost. I'm very or overwhelmed. overwhelmed. This market's like seven farmers markets. Easily. Yeah, it, um, and I so never big. get overwhelmed with markets because there was just so much to eat and see and do and experience and smell. And the first thing we got, donuts? How's the donut? I don't even like donuts, it's amazing. Excellent. Thank you. How is it? Just need some ketchup. Um, but go hungry and go in the morning so you can eat everything All for breakfast things. and lunch. And then over near Borough Market is like the London Bridge and the London Tower. The Shard. The tall building. Yeah, you can go up to the top this of the- This is the Shard. Yeah, this is the Shard. Um, hot tip though, you can either pay to go up to the very top and have a view or you can go up to like kind of towards the top like three quarters of the way up and have a drink or a glass of champagne or a tea or something and it's way less expensive and you get a cocktail and you get the exact same deal. All right, so what Gobby Guide would be complete without? All food. the food, yeah. all the food. How do you want to run through it? Uh, let's start with River Cafe. Okay, so maybe what's just the one thing? Yeah, highlight. Yeah. The River Cafe chili squid and anything that comes out of their wood burning oven. Awesome, all right, I like this. Uh, what about Darjeeling Express? Ooh, their shrimp were incredible and so were all of their cocktails. Yeah, and the what's the puppy bread? Oh, I think it's called fry bread. Fry bread, phenomenal. Ooh. All Whoa. right, sticking on the Indian theme, what about Dishoom? Chili cheese toast. Chili cheese toast. I've never been so excited in my life. And the black doll. The chili cheese toast was absolutely Yeah, it was so good. Um, what about Palomar? Ooh. That was your favorite meal of the trip. It was my favorite. I would say you get all the rips and the dips, which are, uh, you get pita bread to like, or naan to rip, pita, whatever. 
and then you get every dip on the menu. They have like baba ganoush and tzatziki and hummus and all, you get it all. It was so good, I didn't shoot any of the meals. Yeah, we were, uh, also it's very dark in there. Make a reservation, it's super tiny. Odalangi restaurants. Oh, okay, at so, Nopi. That's where we did dinner. Nopi's where we did dinner. You just gotta order all the salads that they have on display. It's the only way to do do it. Um, if you go to Odalangi, like the little, the little like kind of cafe places all over town, I would say go for breakfast and get a quiche, or go for like an afternoon snack and get something kind of sweet. Uh, All right, what about Borough Market? Where do you eat in Borough Market? Borough Market's a tough one. Here's the deal. I think you have to have a toasted cheese sandwich from the place that does raclette. Also but, get the raclette with the potatoes top notch. The toasted cheese is where it's at. Have to get that donut. Donuts at the donut stand. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you have to try all the cheeses and the meats that are on sample for the day. All of them, the full, there's gonna be like a full Borough Market breakdown on the guide on whatscottycooking.com, but get the toasted cheese, Sammy. Okay, cocktail. We had two favorite places. Let's start with the one at the Rosewood. So. Uh, okay, so Scarf's Bar at the Rosewood, which, which is where we stayed, has live music every night. It has like the best vibe. There's a drink name after the Spice Girls. All the servers were the nicest people ever. They give you Castle Vitrano olives by the bucket. Yeah, we had a lot of olives. <laughs> And I had a million gin and tonics. It yeah. was wonderful. Gin and tonics are really a thing. And then the other place we really loved was another lobby bar, um, but that was the Punch Room. The punch Room. At, at the Edition Hotel in Soho. And that, the Milk English Punch. English Milk Punch. Thomas, like, I, fan, fan I wish I could car. remake it, but the recipe is not available. Yeah, it's not available, but it was spectacular. And I don't even like Punch. All right. That's it. What's got That's our guide to London. Scottish guide to London is a wrap. It is magical. You can't go wrong. If you go in the summer, it's going to be nice and hot. And you can go to Wimbledon. If you go in the winter, you're going to get the Christmas lights. You're going to eat incredible food. We love it. Yeah. 10 thumbs up. Hope you enjoy.